Good morning. Hmm. I don't know why I'm opening the blinds. It's literally pitch black outside. And it's gonna be dark when I come back home too, but I don't know, at least when I'm not here, there might be some sunlight streaming. And that idea makes me happy. I feel like I have the easiest morning routine and the quickest morning routine in the world. Just wake up, use the bathroom, wash my face, brush my teeth. I moisturize and sunscreen. If my skin is really, really bad that day, then I would put on like a CC cream or a BB cream, but it's kind of pointless because I'm in the OR all day, wearing a mask and taking it off, wearing a mask and taking it off. And it just, I don't know, I don't like makeup. I feel like it suffocates it more and it's all in the mask and it's just gross. Now to do something about my hair. I have really big curly hair, but same. I'm in the OR all day, and I have to fit it into that bonnet and cap. So, hey, what's up? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in a cap all day. And so, I usually just put it in a style that's away from my face, and that I won't have hair escaping the bonnet sometimes very very few times I have clinic days where I actually wear normal clothes and can put on makeup and have my hair out but most of the days I'm in the hospital most of the days I'm in the OR never like to eat in the morning ever I never had the stomach for it, but I always felt like I had to because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But I've discovered intermittent fasting. It's been godsend. And I just usually just have water or unsweetened matcha tea to kind of boost my energy, wake me up in the morning. All right, let's go to work. The reason I go to work so early in the morning is um, we have to see the patients that got our devices implanted yesterday, the next morning, like post-op to make sure everything's okay. And the earlier the better because they're NPO, which means they can't eat or drink until we make sure everything's okay. Because if not, they'll have to go back into surgery. So my time in the morning, how early I go, really just depends on how many patients I have to see. And today I have two patients to see in the morning. We try to get it done before 8 a.m. So sometimes I have to wake up and leave a lot earlier. So morning rounds are done, they are all good. Now the real work begins. I'm changed into fresh scrubs for the cases today. There are 10, I believe 10 on the board. So those are the ones I would have to go in and support and be, I guess a clinical, technical support for the doctor and nurse in the case. The, the schedule is like, all over the place a little bit. I mean, we have our scheduled cases, but sometimes they get canceled for whatever reason, and then things get added on as well. So it's very, very fluid. You never know what you're gonna get. It is past 1 p.m. You can take this off. Ugh, I am pulling for another case. We've been so busy. I think once I set up for this one, I can finally go have some lunch and break my fast. Let's see, what do we do today so far? So I work with cardiac devices. So we did pacemaker, we did a defibrillator, and we did something that's, um, it's like a monitor, a cardiac monitor, but it's implantable. 
and actually gonna set up for another one and then um I actually have to go teach that patient about how the bedside monitor works and what to do and if he feels symptomatic and things like that and what to look out for um yeah and then we have i think they added three more <laughs> three more cases so it is gonna be a really busy day but i actually like it busy i like to just run around and be going room from room to room and doing surgeries um, or seeing patients, that's my favorite thing. I don't like sitting around and doing paperwork, so I like this. <laughs> this is good for me. Uh, I'll see you guys in next update. This may look funny, but oh my god, I'm utilizing this break time to just stretch out my back. Oh god. Our procedures require fluoroscopy which is essentially like live x-ray and so we wear these kind of heavy lead outfits kind of like when you go to a dentist and get an x-ray and they put that heavy lead on you to protect you from radiation it's like that but we're just standing and moving around on it all day and since I do have a little bit of scoliosis I need to like constantly stretch my back out to feel a little bit more human it is now 5 p.m. We are looking at five more cases left. So, or six, six, well five, one starting right now. So yeah, we're really making headway. I actually have to leave by like 6.30 or seven the latest. So I can try to make it to the city to meet my acting partner for acting class to rehearse. I take acting classes at night because I'm crazy and I don't like to have free time. <laughs> but um, if I can't make it and no one could cover me, I mean, surgeries are gonna go, they're gonna go. I have to stay here, I'll cancel, but I'm hoping we can move it along. Alrighty, I am out. I have super shiny forehead because I ate a lot of pizza and not good things for me. What a surprise. I am lucky that somebody was able to cover me so I can make this tonight. Yeah, so very case heavy day today. It happens. My job is mostly procedure based. That is the big bulk of it. But I actually spent a good amount of time today in the MRI suite. Normally, there's actually signs that say like no pacemakers allowed because MRI is a big magnet and the devices are metal so it doesn't really mesh but MRI approved MRI conditional devices are available so that patients can also get MRIs which is great but we have to be there to check the device and make sure everything's okay and also program it in a MRI safe mode as per FDA requirements I am just so happy I made it I actually texted my scene partner I was like I don't think I'm gonna make it I've canceled on people all the time that's kind of just the nature of this job there is no set hours you're just here you're just there when they need you you're there and you're ready to go i found parking oh okay now i gotta go or i'm gonna actually be late let me make sure it's legit parking it's legit I mean, I, I still got my I still got my uh, city parking swag from. Did I just say swag? I did say swag. So I just came out. She just gave me a copy of the play that I have to read in the scene we're doing, and she's so wonderful. Like she's a great, like she's a character. Um, she's actually acted before and like been in Broadway and musicals and other performances and things like that. Really, everyone in my class is mostly working actors nothing big but like they have agents they get jobs and um i feel like i'm in good company and i'm in i'm in new york city which always makes me feel like i can do it all i feel like yeah i can be an actor yes i will be successful yes i can be a dancer and a performer and yes i can still be a biomedical engineer and do things to help people and work with technology and math and science so that's why I love New York City so much. I'm home. It's
it's like 9 30 p.m carla ordered chinese food for dinner for us so i'm gonna change and we're gonna eat it's great because i was gonna just like <laughs> make some shit up in the kitchen and now i don't have to Broccoli. Broccoli? Thank you, Carla. All right, guys. This is good night. I hope that this was a little bit insightful. I know a lot of people ask me what I do. Like, are you a surgeon? Are you a nurse? Are you a tech? Like, what do you do in law school? So I hope this outlined what I do. This is really normally what my days look like. There are some slower days, and then there are some even crazier days. I could stay at work for a while you have to do what you have to do so the diciness of the schedule can get really stressful but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you like this content and if you have any more questions or if you want to see more future videos about what my day and my job looks like i'll try <laughs> to do the best i can but yeah thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye